Hi, room one. Um, we finished our packet with numbers 10 to 20 yesterday. So we're going to finish out the week by doing the math pages that are left in this Christmas, December Christmas math packet. So if you'll get that out and look for the one with the lights, Christmas lights, and the reindeer, and the uh, little elf, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and go from the front. Yesterday we did the last page, the gingerbread cookie man, but I'm gonna go from the front. The last page we did was this addition page with 10 frames. We're gonna do another addition page, but I actually think this one is easier. Okay, so I think we'll be able to do two pages today. This one is called Cookie Edition. Let me put on my glasses so I can read the directions. It says, count the cookies on the cookie sheet, write and solve the equation. So I've got over here on this cookie sheet, there's two Christmas cookies. And on this sheet, there's two Christmas cookies. So we go two plus two. And so we're gonna put the numbers there, two plus two. And then, <clears throat> There's a plus sign. That means we add them together, and then we got one, two, three, four. So your answer all together, we put it right here. Two and two is four, or two plus two equals four. Okay, the total goes on the right. Okay, I don't care if we go down this way or this way. It doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and just do a few more. And then I'm going to let you guys do this by yourself because I think you can. On this cookie sheet, I have one, two, three, four cookies. On this cookie sheet, I have one, two cookies. So I'm going to write four on the left, two on the right. Don't forget, your answer goes here. So we have to total. We have to add all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now you can do addition on your fingers too. We have four cookies here and two cookies here all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. But you don't really need your fingers for this page because we have we're, uh, we have the cookies right there to count. How about, let's do one more. One, two, three, four, five on the left. On the second cookie sheet, we have one, two, three. Let's count them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I could maybe color my cookies when I'm done. I could put some sprinkles on there, color them red and green. Maybe they have red and green frosting. Okay, now I'm gonna skip. These all look really easy. I just wanna kinda go over this one. Um, when you see one like this, I've got one, two, three, four. But on this cookie sheet, there are none. Nada, nada means nothing in Spanish. So I put a zero there. So when you add anything to zero, the number's just gonna stay the same. We're not adding any, so our answer is gonna be one, two, three, four. We started with four, and we have four over here because we're not adding any. Okay, I'm not gonna do the rest because I trust you guys. I think you guys understand that. I will color that. I'll post it on the assignment page. And I think we have time to do another one. Now this one, boys and girls, you are gonna need a little bit of parent help. Well, you might, you might not, because they are all addition, but they're telling us how many Christmas balls to put on the trees, and each one is different. Now, um, it might be a little hard for you guys to read. You're gonna recognize a few of these words in here. I'm gonna put it up really close, and I'm gonna read this one. It says, add, add. Three, now you guys know G-R-E-E-N, G-R-E-E-N. I know how to spell green, G-R-E-E-N. Add three green bulbs and two red bulbs. How many bulbs do you have all together? Now our answer is gonna go here. We don't have to put the plus sign or the equal sign. We're gonna draw them on there. So I'm gonna draw three green crystal Christmas balls ornaments, we'll say, and two red. So let me draw them on there first. I did three for this, for three. Here, I'm gonna show you something really quick. Okay, there, this will help you read it. Three green and two red. So since I have the red in my hand, I'm gonna do one red here and one red here. It doesn't really matter which ones. And then three green. 
Now we're gonna go on to the next one, but they're not all green and red. So let me go ahead and get these two crayons out while I am talking. Um, I think, you guys, even if you can't read the whole thing, I bet you know the number, and I think you're gonna be able to read the color word. B-L-U-E spells blue, and what's P-U-R-P-L-E? Purple, purple. So I'm gonna do five, ooh, ooh, I made a mistake. I think I can erase that. I'm not even gonna show you that mistake because I fixed it. Five blue and five purple. So I've got my blue crayon. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Now I didn't draw them this time. I just went ahead and colored them. Um, I guess that's up to you. It might be a good idea to draw them with your pencil first, just in case you make a mistake. But if you don't think, if you think you can do it without making a mistake or you got a grown up there, then you could probably just color them on. Now I've got my purple. It says five purple. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I, I forgot something super important. <laughs> I forgot to answer my question. How many bulbs do you have all together? We have three green and two red. All together, we have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm not gonna forget that this time. Please try not to make any backwards numbers, boys and girls, okay? You always remember you've got numbers on the back of your folder. Oh, I hope I have that here. Give me one second, I think I can find it. Okay, look at right on the back of your red homework folder. I took this out, but look, your numbers are here. If you're not which, sure which direction to make your number, please check. Okay, I've got five blue and five purple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five and five is ten. You guys, a lot of you guys know that without even counting. Okay, my next two are orange and red. So I'm gonna underline this for you. You know, I think I might just finish this up with you guys because your parents might be busy and they might not be able to help you read these, okay? Add three orange bulbs and three red bulbs. How many bulbs do you have all together? So I'm gonna go one, two, three orange. And, oh, I can't wait to see this tree. It's gonna be so pretty. One, two, three red. Three orange and three red is one, two, three, four, five, six. You know what I could do is I could just read this with you and then make you guys do the answer. That's probably a good idea. The next one is four red bulbs and four blue bulbs, okay? I underlined it so you guys will be able to read it better. So I'll start with my red. One, two, three, four, four red, and one, two, three, four, blue. And you probably have to make them about this size, boys and girls. If you make them too big, they won't fit on the tree, right? Okay, what's four plus four? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna write the number eight there. I tell you what, the last two I'm gonna make you do all by yourself, but I will tell you the numbers. There's gonna be six yellow and three green. So I'm gonna underline those for you. Six yellow and three green. And then on this one, there's gonna be one red and seven green. Okay, so I'm not gonna do this one for you because I, I'm gonna post this on the assignment. You're gonna see these four, but these two you have to do all by yourself. And if you need help reading them, mom and dad can help you or big brother and sister, or I think you'll be able to figure it out just by looking at the color word six, Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow, and three, G-R-E-E-N. And they're all addition, so it's not like we're having to take away. Now, when we're all done, you could go back and color in the trees and maybe color the star and color the little tree trunk down here at the bottom. And so we're done. We did two pages today. All right, good job.